This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello and welcome back to coverage of the European Pro Tour. We are here at the Belgian Open, the second stop, and we are bringing you round one front nine MPO feature card coverage. This course is in bren la Lalu, Parc Bourdon, just south of Brussels, and it is a beautiful yet demanding course. I'm Connor Wood, and with me, Tommy Tico. Yes, sir, I'm here. Glad to be here one more time. <laughs> Happy to have you. Thank you. Starting our feature card, we have Maxime Tonge, head of production of MDG and The Local. It's exciting to see him on this feature card coverage, as he will be familiar with all the lines required. Second one on the feature card is Christian Guaxa, my teammate. Starting, actually, the thing here in Belgium. Uh, coming with Prodigy Discs and Dropari. Joining our feature card, we have Morten Brenner, currently 997 rated, has a good, well balanced game, and I think a strong skill set for the woods. Sponsored by Alpha Discs. And for the last one, last year winner, Elias Lokonen. So nice to have him here, showing little skills what he had. From last year, he is sponsored by Discmania, and that's it. That's our card. Well, he knows how to win this tournament, so Whoa. perfect addition here to this feature card. Here you see beautiful hole one. This is a par 3, 74 meter island hole with a drop zone if you do not stick it. On some sides slightly larger than circle one, this island will test your precision and if there's any wind, your hyzer and nose angles as well. It might look easy, but it's a great way to start your tournament and test your nerves. What a great drone shot, man. You see that? That, yeah, that, that was crazy. And the stage is set here as the best European competitors coming together to battle it out on a beautiful course. A little course designer there, Jean-Louis, with a quick cameo. Well, hello there. And Maxime Tange starting our group with the backhand. You can actually reach the basket with the backhand or the sidearm, whatever. You can choose just what you feel better, you go for it. This looks... L oh. The wide hyzer with the overstable disc. You can see it connects to the island but skips out. He will be putting from the drop zone for three. And drop zone is about 50 meters, a little downhill. So we'll see what's... Oh, what a shot! Martin Brenner is <laughs> starting hot. This hole actually is like kind of two, four hole. I would say. I totally agree. It's very rare that you see threes here. It's uh, Most people will be willing a soft bid from the drop zone, but with OB right behind again, most people are taking a two or four. Man, last year I hit, I didn't hit Island. Ooh. Yeah, something like that. Then I went for it, miss again, and took the double. That was last year. That was a different story. <laughs> I just had a little trauma about that. And this year? <laughs> <laughs> this year I made it. We're this making year. the island. That's great. As we see two of our three shots not make the island. Christian now fourth on the card. This looks like it has a nice width. If it can settle. I think it stayed. Yes, no will be on the card. It stayed. Well played. P A three. He said he's throwing P A three backhand every time on the island. I think well the played. overstable low speed disc is really what you're looking for here. We see a great view, Maxime, from the drop zone to save par. Oh, starting, starting with little air ball, no worries. Now Elias Lukkonen. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Well, the thing that I said it to for hole, Elias is so showing a little different. <laughs> what a shot, what a putt, mate. As we take a look at this replay, you see him line it up, soft nose up spin, hyzer release. 
Dead center in the chains, catches the left side basket. Beautiful putt. Crazy one. Christian, about five meters, looking for his first putt. Yes, sir. Delivered straight in the middle. Well played from Quoxa. We see Max here with the bogey save. I think definitely not the only one taking a four here on this hole. It was pretty evenly split between twos and fours. Yeah, and that is that, that that's is all about. Like I said, if you're missing the island, that's really hard to, you know. Okay, Elias is a different story. <laughs> Morton, nice birdie, about almost bullseye. But yeah, usually it's four if you are not hitting island. And hole one is normally a great indicator of how your round is going to go. It gives you the feeling of precision on the first, but then you come here to hole two. Par three, 131 meters. This long fairway slopes slightly right to left and is just a little bit uphill. As these players will need to throw a soft flex or hyzer flip straight down the pipe, you want to avoid OB right, left, long. There is danger on all sides. A great contrast to hole one where you need placement. This is a big power drive down the middle. I would say the hole is lining up better for sidearm, but you know, it's not really easy to hit 130 meters, little uphill sidearm. So usually players do something like this, like Brenna showing us almost the perfect shot. Little catch up on the right, but he is looking for a circle too. No worries. Fine result. We'll see Christian now. As he finds the hyzer release through the gap. And with a beautiful turn and fade, <laughs> skips long, but that connected in the bullseye the first touch to the ground, and he is just within the circle for a birdie putt. And Elias Lokone as well taking the backhand. A little turn over, have to come back and hit maybe some three. Yeah. But receives a friendly green flag. It should be a safe three and a long look at two. And Maxim looks a little low, maybe. Yeah, stick to C2, but he, he got the putt. Would you consider this one a bonus birdie for the par threes on this course? For sure, this one of this one of hardest and longest, the second longest par three. Not enough on Heiser on Elias' putt, but he's looking for saving his par. Max also from circle two, likely going to give this a bid. Just a little bit left side. And now we're coming to Christian's putt. Just inside circle one, as you see. And yeah, Quaxa, well done, brother. Really, really nice way to start your round. This is bonus birdie, as you said, man, for sure. And to get the first two with a really confident looking putting stroke from the edge of the circle, he's looking really solid Great. at the start of this tournament. And Elias with the clean three, a little bit of an errant approach left him a more than comfortable putt on there, but for him, surely no worries. Maxine picking his par, and we haven't seen Brenna sub shot, but he is now in bullseye. Or did he went through actually? Is this for birdie? Oh no! Oh, so he we got yeah. caught up on the right side, yeah, yeah, and yeah. likely pitched up or or had a obstructed putt. So we have only one birdie on this feature card. Here you see hole three, beautifully framed over this pond. You want to throw a soft turnover or hyzer flip with a mid-range or maybe fairway if you want to push it. Even those who can throw a little further with the putter might want a soft landing here. At 106 meters, you have OB right, OB left. 
and as you enter this green, you have a slightly elevated basket with OB deep. You want a long straight shot that lands nice and soft. Connor, I forgot to ask, what are you throwing on hole one? Sidearm or backhand? Oh, I'm throwing backhand. <laughs> Because of the wind, we had a strong left to right, so the forehand I thought would be more affected, but I like both. Okay. And you? Sidearm, sidearm, yeah. But here we are not throwing sidearm, we are throwing nicely backhand, maybe a little low, but Guoxa is about circle two, looking for her his third turkey, actually. Third birdie. A really strong potential start. We see Morton here hugging that right side fairway with a little bit more stable of a disc, and he slides up beautifully right outside the bullseye. That is clean. Somebody whistling. That made that actually means that shot was really nice. And with Elias, little little too much overturning. L didn't didn't juice it, you know. That was like showed a little like shy. Max, I believe he's throwing his archer here. Looks Ooh. for a soft <laughs> turn and he gets a great kick towards the basket. He is right up there for his birdie putt. And you see a smile on his face, he'll take that. <laughs> those three kicks, man. You know, we need more of those trees who is helping us <laughs> to get closer to the pin. <laughs> There's a lot of trees that don't help the players on this course. A little love from Elias, but yeah, rolls in bullseye looked like he's about to take in his par. Christian from deep finds the chains, but not enough. Looking confident. Didn't even bother about that. The professionalism level is, you know, it's whole different. Wow. Max for birdie. Oh, oh, oh. Three. <laughs> And the crowd loves it. A familiar <laughs> sounding funny. voice there in the background. No, no, never heard that. <laughs> We saw Morton with the beautiful, I believe, mid-range shot right up there. And catching Koaksa. They battling right now after the third hole. They both are two under. Elias with a par save. Quite a high connection with the chains on the left side, but manages to stick it. As he has three pars through the first three holes. And this is Christian to clean up. I, I would say two down through the first three is a good start, and three down through three is a fantastic start. So these guys are on a good pace. Front nine is harder than back nine, so yeah, definitely two under after the three is way too good. Really good. As we move on to hole four, par three, 97 meters, you have this initial tunnel shot with a series of gaps to hit, and if you can break out of all of them into this open field, you must contend with this elevated basket. This hole also has OB left, OB right, and OB long. You really want to get as close as possible to have a safe putt if you can. And the hole is actually a little tricky one because it feels that the basket is closer than it is for real because I can reach the basket with putter on hole three, but on hole four, no chains. And Morten Brenna looks like mid-range or putter. He made circle one. Well done, brother. That's really nice to have putt on hole four. Max looking for a little bit of a wind read. I believe throwing the same disc as he did on three. Heiser released a soft turnover through the gap. That is 
a laser beam <laughs> right to the basket. <laughs> Incredible execution. That means the shot is really good when you hear some whoo or on call bar or some, some noise of crowd. So yeah, as you can see, parking it like less than meter, man. <laughs> Perfect execution. Christian has seen two successful lines now. The backhand is usual play here, but actually I'm throwing forehand here, sidearm. I would say this is another one similar to hole two, where the forehand makes the gap a little bit wider, offering more of a flex than a turnover or hyzer flip. As we saw, Christian bleed a little bit left, but is right up there in the circle for his birdie putt. You know, I haven't choose yet. Am I calling Christian Kuoksa Christian or am I calling him Kuoksa? But the same guy, the same guy, even <laughs> whatever I say. Elias looking at unfortunately hitting some trees on the right. That's the only three can, which one can come to your play. But if you, are, if you are not in too deep in bushes like this one, you are like saving for part and... So he's come out the back, meaning he can approach with a simple jump putt for a safe three. You see Christian here from edge of circle looking for his third birdie. And he finds the chains with the nose up putt, strong side. Just a commanding putt right there as we take another look. Gets the height just right and with a kick of the leg, guides it in. Commanding putt on the elevated basket and he loves it. The pretty good, I never seen that. Looks nice. Looks nice pretty low, good. Nice, really nice low motion thing out there. And Brenna is about to pick his birdie, yes. Wow, what a nice start. Both guys are three under. And uh, as I said, front nine is harder. We are coming to hole five view where you can see the harness and six and seven. <laughs> Hole five, par four, 172 meters. You have a very tight OB on the left as you throw out of this tree gap. You wanna swing quite quickly right to position yourself to enter this long tunnel on the second shot. It's about 90 meters to be in the sweet spot. Anything longer and you will be pinched. Anything shorter and you'll need an Anheuser backhand or forehand, but you really wanna be able to fight as far forwards and straight as possible to find yourself on this green. And if you mention, there's a sticks on the ground, the yellow ones and the red ones. Red ones is about is uh, 100 meters to the pin, and yellow ones is 50. And those are, man, those are so, so helpful. And with the roller, Martin well, Brenner, wow! It's a great shape if you can do it. The winds were slightly down in day one. It was quite a calm day and uh, shapes really nicely if you can control that turnover angle, likely a very flippy disc to fight to the right. And Max, now looking for the Anheuser Air roller as well. As he turns this one over and fires it down the fairway, if he curls a little bit more right, he's slightly pinched from the opening, went a, a touch too far. If you are pushing too far your disc, then there's uh, there's nothing you have to be the sweet spot here is about like you said 90 meters from the tee so you really have to aim your shot maybe even closer to these first bushes than the farthers because this one with the quoxas drive he have he has opening look to the pin looking for executing his second shot and taking birdie Elias playing a higher, wider hyzer and looks to be well positioned as well. The closer you are to the gap, the, the more narrow you need to be on the entrance. If you're a little bit further back in distance, maybe 100 from the pin or so, it's a longer shot, but it's more forgiving on the entrance angle. And now we come to Kuoksa's 
drive beautifully beautifully done man who is this guy he made the circle again wow so nice to see my my teammate doing you know great succeeding shots. yeah yeah succeeding exactly <laughs> elias looking to shape an anheuser forehand i think a little bit too long from that sweet spot as well and max will be trying to scramble here You're too tight to this to this opening thing where you have to push your second shot. So if you are too far, there in like really, really no nothing you can do to get to the pin. But playing par here is really good result as Maxime Bullseye his third shot. We see Morton from deep. He floats out the Heiser putt, sits it right down. A nice safe run at the basket from maybe even outside circle two, looks like, about 20 to 25. And it is look on it is about circle two. Oh, little too high right. You know, that's 50-50. Is it like going, get, getting in or not? But like I would say a little slow start for, for Elias. Like nothing happened still here. One highlight on the first, but par, par, par. Well, I hope it not affect too much on his game plan. Christian, another putt going slightly wide. Not usual mistake. We have been seeing Christian firing, but well, that can happen, even this level. And I think a four is a fairly common score here on hole five. This hole actually averaged 4.3, so taking a 4 is no problem relative to the field. Only pars for this, and we are getting to hole 6. Welcome to hole 6, a par 4, 165 meter, pure tunnel shot the entire way. You can try to dissect the hole by throwing 80 meters twice with a putter or mid-range, or if you want to get aggressive, go for a big driver or fairway or distance driver down the middle on a soft flex or hyzer turnover. This little field and opening right here is the sweet spot to land, leaving you a Anheuser forehand or hyzer backhand to try and battle to this well-guarded green. This is the hole that can make or break your rounds. I call this hole dream killer. You know, you, you're starting hot, you're around three under easily, you know, the, the gap is looking too wide on the video. So guys, the shot these guys are making here are extremely hard. With Morten Brenna. Very high release, but that is firing through. And he is way up there. That is an incredible shot. That's 50 meters to the pin. What a shot, Martin Brenna. And Max just puring this tunnel slides his way up. They are making this look far too easy. Yeah, maybe Gavin is higher for them. <laughs> bigger, bigger for them. <laughs> what a guy. And Christian Kloxa with his shot. Well, be kind. Okay, something but they good love happened. It. Likely kicks back to the middle fairway. You do find an OB line on the left that can come into play off of a tree kick. If it's too high and uh, a fast speed disc, you can find trouble quite quickly. So there is danger to be had other than the trees. Elias showing us the, the human, human side of this feature card because those first three shots all seemed very successful. Best scene scenario is that you are hitting some tree and land your disc about this, like close to this pad, so you can make second shot. But unfortunately, this is too little, too wide, and fighting OB. Oh, well. And if you are fighting OB, you know, the lining is not easy. Second. Ah. Christian shaping a nice Anheuser backhand as it flexes out right at the end with the ground play. He is in the circle, putting for birdie. I believe we, we missed Elias's 
Move from the OB line, likely pitched up back to the middle. It is the smartest play. And he finds himself just within the circle, but with an uphill putt. He will need to find that to save bogey, I believe. And finally, coming to Maxime's shot. Archer, Archer, and you are looking almost bullseye birdie. Okay, he's putting for birdie. That's really scoring a whole six, man. And Morton's so far up. Oh. <laughs> Just chips a little Anheuser forehand right to the basket. He will be tapping in a three here on hole six. Christian for birdie. Connection, wow. Smooth putt and a confident putting stroke. That's what we like to see as we take another look here. The form brings it down to the waist. Pop of the fingers, palm up, right in the heart. Second pretty good for my teammate, Christian Coaxa. Ah, love the guy. Max with a short putt for birdie. As he finds that as well. That will be his third birdie of the round, putting him to two under. As you mentioned, really solid to be under par through the front nine. And if somebody don't know uh, why Christian Kuoksa is my teammate, I'm not the prodigy player, I'm the droppery player, and Kuoksa is uh, as well sponsor. Oh, Elias from deep. Now, he finds a big number, but really solid putt there to save that. That's the dream killer. But we played the whole in even. Other players saved the Elias' seven, but you know. Here we are on hole seven. Par 3, 84 meters, another tunnel shot through the woods with a late tree line to hit the gap on. If you manage to pierce through all these trees, you find this beautifully tiered green about five meters high from the base. The steps are bigger than they look on camera. You want to fight as much up the hill as you can to try and find a putt. This is a tough to get birdie, but a really good one to find. I would say the hole is all about putting because you can't get your disc up to stairs you're like always finding yourself down and it's about seven to ten meters but uphill steep uphill it's, ooh, exactly you have maybe seeing half of the basket and trying but morton brenna <laughs> bro broke my <laughs> thing what i just said he got his disc landed on the stair wow i never i never seen that man he sticks it when you hit these wooden planks you often kick down and left to the bottom these guys shaping the hyzer flip through the right gap mm -hmm. max slides on the top level of the steps and finds himself at the bottom that is a Crazy ground play adjacent to the staircase. A beautiful line. This is crazy. Like, the guys are still shooting backhand. This is for sidearm, as you see. You're flexing your sidearm and going through, or like there's a way bigger gap where you try to hit your flex shot and, you know, try to get your disc to circle where you can putt, but, you know, I started to think backhand is well yeah exactly this this should have this this happen with backhand like more often you can, those gaps are like maybe 2 3 meters and those two first guys are just ah wow this hole does feel a little bit like uh, uh, uh you try to poke through the tree line and sometimes you get through and sometimes you don't with the same line but this is a common spot to be where Christian is if you don't make it through and you can almost always run it if you choose to with that hill right behind, but he gives a soft layup for an easy three. This is the round. You can go really aggressive because there is a slope, like the uphill slope, What? which one is stopping your... Oh. Wow! <laughs> Don't mind that he slid all the way to the bottom from the top. He cashes in the birdie anyway. 
as Max is beginning to light up at three under. Morton, unfortunately, two nose up. Even from that angle, it's considerably uphill. And, and when you're that far down, the gap between the top of the basket and the band really shrinks. Koksa and Elias taking their bullseye threes. Oh, Elias was for the bogey. Sorry, man. Hit the early tree. Yes, two times. The tricky hole seven. Uh, about putting. Here you see hole eight, an 80 meter par three tunnel shot that is slightly downhill. Likely the easiest hole on the course for players of this caliber, I think they will all be looking for the birdie and one that you do not want to miss if you want to stay in contention and match the pace of the best players here. Shot is about 60, 70 meters because it's like a little downhill. So you are taking a putter even if somebody can go with the sidearm. Have you seen that? Absolutely, I saw a few players go for it. It actually looks a little common play. More of a straight shot than a hyzer, although Max really shows that hyzer line beautifully, and you see the wow. fast fairway and fast green there. You almost always get a solid slide five to 10 meters past your landing point. Little grip. Oh, it went through. Okay, he's in the middle. No worries. If in this course, if you are in the rough, it's a really rough. I don't, I've been practicing the whole uh, the course, and sometimes it's hard to get yourself from the rough, even by putting to fairway. <laughs> so. It is really thick and unforgiving rough, especially on the right where Morton actually threw his shot. He is very fortunate to kick out there as Elias comes straight down the middle with the backstop tree. We just saw Christian as well with a beautiful slide up shot. We have three close putts for birdie and Morton, who I think from this distance likely just having to lay up. We'll see how hungry he is with this downhill putt. Ooh. Oh, well, I think he wanted that. For sure. Walking walking out there with par is not the best feeling on this level. And Elias connected his first birdie. Well played, mate. Hope to get him back in the business with the guys. Koksa and Maxim doing the same as Elias. I hope. Don't jinx. Yes, thank you. Yes, Maxim, you made it great. <laughs> Do you, do you think coming in as this year's uh, reigning champion of the Belgian Open, Elias, may be feeling some nerves? Do you think the expectations are higher if you're a returning champion? Well, that actually may affect it. Maybe he can feel the pressure that he has has to... Perform. Yeah, so yeah, at a yeah. certain level that, that we have seen perhaps last year. Yeah, for sure. But with three birdies and one par... We go to the last hole of this front nine. Another par four, this one 183 meters. You have a series of initial gaps to hit here. Uphill, this fairway bends softly left to right. You want to land right on this walking path here with an Anheuser backhand or forehand hyzer off the tee. Your second shot is still heavily obstructed where you need to shape some sort of long fighting hyzer or turnover forehand to battle all the way down this tunnel, a full S shape. This is an incredibly difficult birdie to get, and par feels fantastic. Coming from one of the easiest holes to most hard hole <laughs> on EPT history, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. There is not certain like line. What are you looking for? So this is really tricky one. And with the light bulb, as you see with drone flight, you know, it's on the way. Please take them off for the next year. <laughs> this early lamppost in the first gap, you'll see it here. Max looking to shape the Anheuser turnover backhand. Going inside, he gets a kick back to center fairway and that is still a very salvageable par, not a bad spot at all. 
after second after first throw you don't know where you have to throw you will will get that will get that i'm coming for that but i didn't even know where the sweet 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 for sweet spot is for real Christian but. with a good forehand there, and that's the more traditional line for the right-handed players if you have it. But even from the best spot that you can get around the corner with that shot, as Tommy mentioned, there is no real line on the second shot that you can find every time. Elias will be a little bit more to the right, which, although he's shorter, can help with the bending left on the second shot. And pro tip, just don't hit the tree and you're good. <laughs> that's a, good, that's a wise advice <laughs> to anyone listening. Well, that was that was for free. Second was uh, second. <laughs> no, first one was free. He'll charge. You can reach out to him anywhere. <laughs> he he can give tips. And Morton finding an early tree looks to have dropped and rolled down left. I think still with an open look up the walking path, but very difficult to find a long throw here. A common side as he finds the tree and kicks to the right. Maybe possible to still save par for him, but it will be very tricky. Elias firing just left of the gap, but gets a friendly kick. And finally coming to Maxims. He's on like okay position to attack the pin. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's maybe circled too, man. Oh, what a what a great shot from him. Show this. Yes, the oh yeah, about 20 meters. That's really good. Stress-free par here feels like a birdie. Absolutely, and I think that is about as close as players are getting on the second shot. We see Christian now pushing the tunnel a little bit deep, and he will be obstructed. I think not an easy approach from there. Morton shaping the patent pending backhand finds a very early tree and kicks to the woods. Ay, 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 ay. He's looking for her for it, and he's not even know. He's he don't even know where's where he had to throw because there's no gaps. And yeah, oh, this can fast come trouble for you. Similar to hole six, this is one you simply want to survive. And Elias throwing really nice sidearm, and it's about circle, and he's watching, looking for her part from there. Well played, Elias. Oh, Christian with a nice straddle out. He was not so deep in there, and he slides up. That will be a stress-free par. Feels Tommy like birdie. Feels like birdie. And I can tell you, it almost quite literally was birdie. This hole averaged 5.1. There is a good possibility that people could consider this a par 5 hole. But on pro level, I would say this is still 4. Because we have seen here, actually from... Otto Mackinen for sure making birdie on this one. So, oh. oh. Elias with some ground play on the missed putt will now need to find this comebacker. Oh, connect. Well. Good to find that. I see cards. An unfortunate bogey there on nine. Hopefully he can keep his head high and try to find a good momentum in the back nine. So we see Morton taking a double with many tree kicks on his way, really showcasing how difficult hole nine is here. Max with two perfect shots off the tee and his approach, still just with a stress-free four, and Christian as well. As we take a look at the standings through round one, front nine, leading the field, Christian Quoxa at four under, a series of names tied for second. One of those looks a little bit familiar. No way, is it me four under? I told man. <laughs> tied for second, we see. Wow. Max, Temu, Severi, Lauri, and Tommy all battling it out, one stroke behind Christian. Thank you for joining us. Make Thank sure you. to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the back nine. Tommy, it was a pleasure. Thank you, Connor. 